what is up beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and as you can see i have my full face of makeup done and i am super ecstatic that it came out so beautiful and so dope so i thought let me hop on here and let them see how i achieved this look and how cute i am okay <laughs> so from the lipstick to the eyeshadow to the eyebrows to every single thing honey i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this look this is something that would be super cute super simple for day night excuse my edges i laid them down but uh, apparently they don't believe in edge control so whatever but yeah this is a super cute look for day night uh everyday makeup it's not too much it's simple it's it, it blends in with your skin so effortless effortlessly and you know what this is not even a lipstick on my lips this is a gloss that and i put the eyeliner i mean not eyeliner lip liner on top of it so again guys if you are ready to see how i achieve this look stay tuned okay. but before we get into that i do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so go ahead right now subscribe to my channel don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time i post a video and because this video is crazy crazy easy and beginner friendly i'm trying to go detail 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 i'm going to explain the best way i can of course i am not a professional makeup artist i only do my own makeup and maybe here or there people that like oh you look so pretty do mine you know some regular stuff no big deal so again this is beginner friendly i feel like you can have, get all these things like these brushes that i use they're all from pretty much walgreens i don't have specific makeup brushes that i use i feel like makeup brushes are makeup brushes <laughs> but yeah but let me go ahead and stop talking to you guys ear off again this look i achieved on my own it took me i don't know how long it took me but i did it once off camera and then i redid it again to make sure i can do it twice so it finally came out looking amazing and i'm super excited about that so yeah let's hop right into it okay all right guys of course i just want to jump right into it don't hold you guys up so i'm gonna go ahead and get my primer going this is my fenty beauty primer if you guys can't see it i'm sorry it's just because the light is right on top of it there you go so i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that on my face all over if you are not sure what it looks like this is the consistency it is liquidy and it's moisturized it's supposed to moisturize your whole entire face you really do not need a lot of it probably just like a not even maybe like a little bit over a drop this is supposed to keep your makeup going so it doesn't get crusty or anything like that it can last all day long another thing i want to mention is that i love this look like fancy beauty has a great look it's it's just so elegant and just I'm, i don't know i could be like a, just a new girl i like new colors but this is like really really pretty really simple and it's just cute Following that, I am going to go ahead into my eyebrows. This is something that I got from Walgreens. So you can definitely find this anywhere. Uh, this is Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Gel Liner. It could be for your eyelashes. I mean, I'm sorry, it could be for your um eyeliner, but I'm not sure I can remember actually. I'm pretty sure it said eyebrows on there. But if it's not, oh well, I love it the way it is being used for my eyebrows okay so what i'm gonna go in and use my pixie brush and just brush my eyebrows out So now I'm going to go in and work on my eyebrows and filling it in. I love the way this um, eyebrow pencil stick filler brush, whatever it's called, is. I did not stomp it or push it down like that. It literally came like that straight out the package. It came bent and curved perfectly for your eyebrows. And what I am going to do now is just go ahead and trace the bottom of my eyebrow 
all the way up into my eyebrow. I'm just going to do a straight line, as you can see here, just so I can create the bottom of my eyebrow, going all the way up to the corner, and then coming back down and filling it in. I'm not going to make it too dark. I still want to make it look natural. And the easiest way for you guys to do that is to draw your straight line up and build around it. You see how that looks? That looks like I just created a full eyebrow from the eyebrow that I already had. And that is the purpose. You don't want to draw in your, a new eyebrow and then you're looking like Corella DeVille or something like that. I hate those shady or clearly gelled in eyebrows. Like I want my eyebrows to look like eyebrows. So I make sure I... <laughs> Keep them looking like eyebrows and trace it around. And then I just come in and fill it in on the side so it can look perfected and clean. And I do that for the same side. I just trace the edges of my eyebrows. I don't want to pull it out or any way. However, the end of my eyebrow is falling, I just go ahead and fill it in like that. And I feel like that gives the most effective and natural look if you are tracing the end of your eyebrow how it already is growing in on your face from where you drew your line from the beginning if you are not familiar with what brush i am using for or just the gel that i'm using for my eyebrows the video is going to be linked right here at the top, so you can go ahead and go back to it and see where I got the brush from. I did get it from Walgreens, but specifically like the brand of the brush because I think that the curvature of the brush is very perfect, especially for someone that does not know how to do their eyebrows that well. I think it's very necessary, or, or someone who doesn't have a sturdy hand, I think it's necessary that something like this would be very useful for you. And again, like I said before, I draw my straight line all the way up to make sure I get my arch perfectly how I want it to be. And then I just go back in and fill it in. My eyebrows are never sister sisters or twins. Most of the time they're um, distant cousins. But hey, I'm natural. I'm normal. My eyebrows are ne never going to be perfect. But I think they are beautiful the way they are. my eyebrows are finished to how i want them to be so now i'm going to go ahead and get my concealer you can definitely find this at your local beauty supply store this is this la girl pro um the color is warm honey i do like my skin to be a tad bit darker than what i naturally am because my skin tends to dry out really really fast the brush that i am using to apply my concealer is a more of a slanted bristol eyebrow face brush i'm not too sure the name of it again guys if this is not helpful i am sorry i am not a professional or just a makeup artist in general so i am going to go ahead and apply my concealer i am going to not put too much concealer because i do need to brush it in and make it look unison and blank with my skin and i'm going to go ahead and do both of my eyebrows just like that just to clean it up a little bit i'm not really big on doing the top of my eyebrows some say that is not a good idea i should do my eyebrows but these are my eyebrows so i don't care i am going to continue doing the bottom of my eyebrows because i think that it makes it look much cleaner you don't necessarily have to do the top of your eyebrows but again most makeup artists probably would because yeah maybe that's what you should do i don't know but the concealer is simply just supposed to clean it up all your loose hairs that you have maybe you didn't arch your eyebrows or your eyebrows are not fresh and you want to make it look as, as fresh as possible so that that is what the concealer is supposed to do is clean up your eyebrows the best way possible and that is what i am doing here from that i am going ahead and highlighting the different parts of my face that i want to be a tad bit lighter than everything else definitely i want the inside portions of my nose to be highlighted i am going to go ahead and do the center portion of my forehead 
in other parts of my face. This is just to give you that glow effect that you are and most women and girls love. I absolutely love the shiny and brightness of the face that when it um does the foundation with the concealer is much lighter than the foundation and it obvious it is definitely obvious and it glows and reflects perfectly in photos and stuff like that. I talked all of my stuff and said that I did not do the top of my eyebrows and here I am <laughs> doing the top of my eyebrows. Normally girls, I don't do the top of my eyebrows, but if you want to do the beginning portion of your eyebrows like I just did just to make it cleaner, go ahead and do that. Why am I putting concealer on my eyelids just blatantly like that? I am prepping my eyebrows, I mean not my eyebrows, I'm sorry, my eyelids for my eyeshadow. So the initial thing that you want to do to make your eyeshadow bright and vibrant is to put some concealer on top of your, your eyelid underneath the eyeshadow before you do anything else. That is probably the most important part of eyeshadow and anything that goes on top of your eyes is to put some concealer on there just to hold it to make it vibrant to make your colors balance and blend with one another that's very 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 important something that i have recently learned and i'm excited that i learned that so that is what you see me doing here i'm going to go ahead and fill it in on both of my eyes shadow palette and my makeup brush I honestly cannot tell you the name of this brush I cannot tell you the number all I can tell you is that it's more so of the thinner version but the center of it is a little bit longer than the outside portions of it and it is perfect for your outside area for of your eye I feel like you could just screenshot it and you can tell what brush that is I'm sorry if this is not helpful so I'm going to go ahead and get my lighter color because I want it to look really like pinkish so I'm going to do a light pinkish oranges because the, the purpose of eyeshadow is to make all the colors blend together perfectly and vibrant so this is the lighter color and I'm going to basically make my colors grow so I'm going to go from light to dark basically and that is how you want to make your eyebrows and that's what happens when you make them look beautiful the lighter color is always the shadowy color at the top and then you put a darker color on top of that. And you just keep continue to grow more and more and more your colors until it comes out and it's satisfying you. Okay? You you got to look at yourself daily. And it doesn't matter what other people think. I mean, it's lovely to get compliments, of course. But if you love it, that is all really that matters. So here I am going ahead and applying um, the eyeshadow around the top of my eyelid. I am um, doing this several times just to bring the color out. That is something that you do want to do. You want to make sure your colors are sticking on top of your eye. You don't want to just put one layer because it may not come out significant and it's not going to blend perfectly with the other colors. So definitely go in. And you want to go back and forth with the brush or you want to go in circles. You know, the same way you do your foundation. You're going in circles or you're going to go back and forth. Just switch it up just so the colors can blend perfectly off of the brush. And if you are wondering, was my brush dirty? Yes, it was because I had just did the same exact look on myself before I did this video. Just to make sure it will come out right. The colors blended nicely and I'm not sitting you guys off. Okay? <laughs> And if you just saw me pat the brush out, it is important to make sure you um, pat out the excess eyeshadow that catches onto your brush because you don't want to 
it to fall into your eyelashes or you don't want it to fall on your foundation that's if you do your face before you do your eyeshadow just make sure you fan the brush out a little bit blow it whatever is necessary to not have the excess eyeshadow on your face sitting on top of your cheek moving on to my next layer this is the brush that i am using now this i know that this brush here is labeled so this is brush is called the c brush and it is primarily because you're going to go in a c motion when you're putting it on your face that's why it's called the c brush it's mostly flat but it's also wide at the same time and on this layer you are going to get a darker color a color close to the color that you already use but you do want it to be darker because again you, we are building our eyelash eyebrow up so it can be vibrant and popping okay that is the goal for our eyebrows to be I'm, I'm sorry why don't why am i still staring at my eyebrows i am looking at my eyeshadow you do want it to be vibrant and popping so again you're going to go in, in a c motion on the outside of your eye so you're going to go from the bottom of your eye, right on top of your eye, um, eyebrow. I'm sorry, why do I keep my eyebrows? I, I swear I'm not drunk, y'all. I swear I'm not. But on top of your eyelashes, and then you're going to go into a C motion into your crease of your eye. And just keep on doing that. You want to do several layers into your liking so the color will pop out. As you can see, the color is now coming and blending perfectly with the first layer that I put on my face, it's best to go really close to colors, especially if you're a beginner, you don't want to do a blue and a purple because you really don't know how to do eye shadow yet. So I recommend you do colors that are really close together just so you know that it's going to look nice and you can begin to trust yourself. But when you get um, become a professional eyeshadow person, definitely try it out. Do a whole bunch of different colors. Do the rainbow if I like hair. Now this brush is the blending brush. It definitely says blending brush on here. The brand that I am using is the e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. It is very inexpensive. You can find them anywhere and those brushes are labeled. This is again the blending brush and you're just going to go and like go left, left to right with this and blend those two colors together the best way you can. And now I'm going to go with this brush. It's um, similar to the first brush I used. Um, again, I don't know the name of it. I'm just going to go back. And, oh, it is the first brush I use. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to go back and just add more of the first color back on if I felt like it was fading out. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more just so I can get that transition from one color to the other. And it can be blending perfectly. And then I'm going to go ahead and back in with my blending brush and just blend it in. When I blend, I'm just going to go left to right, as you can see here, just to blend the colors together. Now that I have finished my first two layers of my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and get my concealer. Remember in the beginning I said that I was going to add concealer onto my eyelid and then add more because I want to make the pop top color pop. Again, eyeshadow is about building up, so you do want to make sure your colors are very vibrant and very popping, but you do want to get, get the shadow consistency of the colors as well. That's why you put a softer color at the base and then this harder or vibrant brighter color at the top like i'm doing here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go ahead and put concealer on top of the eyeshadow that i just placed and on top of my eyelid basically go into your crease of your eye and put eyeshadow or place it wherever you think you want to put the next layer of your eyeshadow and i'm going to do this on both sides of my eyes it's very simple just use the same brush that you use to clean up your eyebrows and go ahead in with that brush to fill it in and then you're going to get a small blending brush or use the same blending brush and just tap it tap it tap it tap it and fill it in so it doesn't look inconsistent or bumpy or bubbly or however or smushy or smudgy or whatever it look you know you know you guys know what i mean and just keep filling it in until it comes out how you like it to look again you I think eyeshadow is all about trusting yourself and trusting what you think looks beautiful on you. And I think that will make you more comfortable with doing eyeshadow.
our last layer of our eyeshadow you do want to put a lighter color on the top just so it can be popping and super cute ladies so i'm gonna go ahead with this glittery white and put it right on top of the concealer that i just previously put on my eyes the brush that i use is similar to the c brush it has the flat surface but it's very curvy at the top but it is much longer. The bristles are so much longer than the C brush. So that brush is recommended to get the C brush and the this brush as well. I do not know the name of it. Again, ladies, I am sorry. I didn't think that I needed to buy. Excuse me, that was me putting my computer on the charger. But I didn't think I needed to buy my eyeshadow brushes that was named. Because, again, I'm not a professional makeup artist. This is... Um, one time of me just trying to see how this works on myself. So yeah. Moving back to the blending brush. I just wanted you guys to see that the elves brushes, they do have them labeled. And this is something that you guys can use. And I am just going to go ahead and blend my lighter color with my darker color. Just so it can be more unison with one another. Go into my crevices and blend my shadowy color at the top with my lighter color that I applied on top of it and just so we can all blend together the purpose of eyeshadow is to look shadowy and look like it is all in unison and blended together so be sure not to just place your eye colors on your eyes you do want them to be blended in on your eyes perfectly well not perfectly because nothing is perfect but you do want to do the best way possible and just go in and continue filling it in to your liking but this is exactly how you do a simple eyeshadow look you do a base a shadowy color and then you get your c brush you shape it in your c and then you put a top layer on top of that someone told me when i was watching the video that if you are in a beginner you can put scotch tape right there on your eyes if you see where i was trying to clean it up i had went ahead and did scotch tape I did not, I'm so sorry, but you can go ahead and do that. They said that that's a good idea. And now I am going to go ahead and I'm going to attempt to go in with my Marc Jacobs eyeshadow. But it is a pencil. It's not really like the liquidy color. And I think that to making your um, wings, you do need that liquidy, liquid-like um, eyeliner to make it look so much cleaner and dark the pencil is a little it's like a dusty black and it doesn't serve the purpose that i preferably like but if you like pencils then to each his own so you'll see me here attempting to do it with the pencil and then i change over to the liquid liner because i saw that i didn't like that so much but my eyebrows honey <laughs> they look beautiful and they look natural okay
right, beauties. As you can see, I did not do my eyelashes on the camera because I'm not an eyelash profesh. I definitely need to look very, 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 very close in the mirror and I need some perfect lighting. I just, I need to be standing up. I just need to do a whole lot of stuff that requires focus. And I knew that doing it on camera was going to throw me off. So if you don't need, or if you cannot do it on camera, don't do it on camera. If you need help doing your eyelashes, this is not the video for you. Okay. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Fenty Beauty foundation. I am so sorry I did not um, remember to look at what color this is or what number this is. However, it is a shade darker than me. I'm going to continue to reiterate that because I do like to be a little darker than what my skin tone is. I'm not sure if that's normal, but that's something that I like. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my flare fan or fluffy brush that I use for my foundation uh, unfortunately looking at this back on the video I do believe I put way too much foundation on my face you do not need that many spots you can put spots here or there and it definitely will fill up your whole face but I don't think it hurts again it's just my preference that I wish I didn't put that much on my face because it is a lot of foundation and it fills in exactly how it should fill in and while you're doing foundation, you do want to go in circular motions unless you're trying to get really, really deep, deep into the crevices of your underneath your eye or in the middle of your nose or things like that. That's why you see here I'm going in circular motion because it makes your foundation blend in with itself and your face better. You don't see any kind of brush strokes from your um, foundation brush or anything like that. Or like you use the, you can use one of those little um, cushiony foundation pads and you can just tap it out on your face so that will work as well beauty highlighter palette and use the mean honey for a highlight on my face same spots that i put the concealer i'm going to go ahead and tap it out with my makeup brush or you can use the beauty blender the squishy the squishy pad whichever one is your preference and tap it out with your highlighter it doesn't really make a huge difference because i don't want it to make a huge difference i don't want it to be that super white underneath my face i don't want to come out looking like a clown but again it's your preference it also cleans up the um the excess eyeshadow that you have on your face so that is a plus as well and it just gives you that extra glow on your face as you can see on my face it is lightening up like i wanted to and i think that this is a great product for things like this extra highlight in certain places of your face together i'm gonna go ahead and get my brown bronzer i did get the sephora brand because i was fairly new to bronzer and darkening up my face in certain areas and i thought that this was perfect so i never decided to use anything else this is my second time buying it 
as you can see it is worn out because when i do my basic look with makeup i do my foundation and i do make sure i do bronzer on my face because i just love the way it darkens my face out so what you can do is go ahead and use one of your eyeshadow brushes it doesn't really matter honestly what brush you use and you're going to just line up where your bronzer belongs it's really right there where your cheekbone is you can um suck your lips in the way that i just did mine and you just shape your cheek how you want it to be on both sides of your face. On top of that, you're just going to go up on top of your forehead and you're going to tap it out on top of your forehead as well. That is the dark spots that, that you have on your face, both sides of your cheekbones. You can definitely, like I said, suck your lips in so you can get the inside of the crevices for sure. And then get the top of your forehead around your crown, not your crown, I'm, yes your crown, I'm sorry, or your your edges or however word it is you want to use for that. Go ahead and tap it out around that. And then you're going to get the outside portions of your nose. You see where I put my highlight? It's going to be right there in the middle of your nose. I'm sorry, not the middle of your nose, but the outside portion of your nose so you can get that tone up nose and it can be perfectly and clean. Everyone wants a beautiful nose, right? Even though black people already have beautiful noses, but you know, no big deal. Now that I have successfully put in my bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and get my brush. I do not know the name of this brush, but I do love this brush and what it does to my face. So I always use it religiously. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and go left to right and just brush it in and make it look unison with my foundation. I'm going to go up and down, left to right. And most of, most of all, I'm going to go in circular motion so we can blend perfectly with my foundation if needed i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of foundation and highlight on top of it but just take your time and it will blend in the way you want it to blend in as you can see it is doing for my face here and just do the other side as well go up to your forehead and make sure you do that you don't have to worry about it drying out because again it's just powder so it's not going to dry out kind of like paint or something like that so just take your time blend it in do your circular motion and it will definitely go ahead and blend how you want it to with your foundation, as you can see from my face here. And then I went ahead and did the top of my forehead. I later on actually added a little bit more foundation and highlight to my forehead because I just didn't like the darkness of how it was coming out. And then moving on from that, I went ahead and did my nose. Now grabbing my Fenty Beauty Highlighter Palette again, and I'm going to do the other part. I think it's called Honey Baby or Warm Baby or Warm Honey or something like that. The glittery, shiny part, basically, okay? And I'm just going to smile, and I'm going to put it right on top of my cheekbone. I haven't perfected this yet, so be careful of how much you put on your face. You do not want to look like a trophy. I know that was in a couple years ago, but it is definitely not in. I like the word fleek, you know, you know, back when we used to use the word fleek, it's not in to put and look like a trophy. So I went ahead and did it on top of my eyebrows. I think that this is so pretty having a little bit of highlight on top of your eyeshadow and underneath your eyebrows. I think it is so pretty. And as you can see, I am going in inside of my nose just to make my nose highlight a little bit more. And I am loving the way this is coming out, honey, okay? And this is padded out. I'm not sure what the name of this um, brush is called. I'm assuming that they um, make a part use this brush for setting powder. But I'm just going to go ahead and set my highlight with this brush because it's very useful. And I don't, wanna, I don't want it to go to waste, okay? And again, I like the way my eye makeup and my eye makeup just in general is looking this is the brush that I use. Again, I do not know the name of it, so I am sorry. And I went ahead and cleaned my nose up because I realized that it was a little bit too dark. So I wanted to lighten it up and soften it just a little bit. So I blended it in how I wanted it to be. 
And voila, I love the way my makeup is looking. I hope you like this too. I hope I did a good job and I hope I helped you a little bit learning how to do eyeshadow. So that was my main purpose of coming here today. Last but not least, honey, you don't want to forget about your lips because you don't want to walk around. You gotta be, you gotta be face, but you got some dry, crusty lips, okay? So I want to go ahead and get my Sephora pink lip pencil lip liner and go ahead and apply that to my face. I paid six dollars for this, and I realized in the pandemic where we're wearing masks all day, why would I buy some lip liner? But you know. Really me, I do it for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. And here I am just filling in my lips with the pink lip liner. I think this is very elegant and very beautiful to say the least. Pink is definitely growing on me for sure. And when I put my lip gloss on, it didn't really catch it until um, I brushed it in again. I had to put the lip gloss. I mean, I had to put the lip gloss on and I had to put the lip liner back on top of it. It didn't catch it like I thought it would, but that's okay because it still gave that beautiful pink, shiny effect that I was looking for. As you can see, I didn't worn this lip gloss down to the ground. I love this so much. Of course, this is my um, shiny, shimmery. I'm not too sure of the name of it, but it's Fenty Beauty lip, lip Gloss. It was the first collection or the first series that she released. I had to grab it. This is actually my second one. It gives your lips a beautiful shine and a beautiful glow. And there you have it, beautiful people. That is the look that I have accomplished. I truly hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys were able to do the look with me. I hope my details were good enough for you guys. Again, of course, I am not a makeup artist. I just, I gotta get the hands. So, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for watching my video if you are old i truly appreciate you for cl yet clicking yet again another video subscribe now share and hit give this video a big thumbs up and as you know guys i'm tara j and i'm out peace